What's your hair? I am in disguise. This way, no one will recognize me. I do. What do you want? Your head. <laughs> and the prize. Watch. Happy Halloween, ladies. Welcome, collectors, movie addicts. Today, we are opening and taking a look at Studio Canal's Highlander 4K Ultra High Definition Blu-ray Collector's Package. There can be only one. Is this edition the one? Let's see. Highlander debuted in 1986 and spawned three more sequels afterwards, including a television series. But there's nothing like the original film. All these years later, and we still love this accidental gem of a fantasy adventure with Christopher Lambert playing an immortal born in the 16th century highlands of Scotland, along with Clancy Brown as the brutal barbarian antagonist. As you can see, the title decals have a nice reflection when the light hits. The art is based off of the promotional photo of Connor standing with his sword and garb. Studio Canal usually delivers some real nice additions. These fold-in, thicker digibooks can easily get banged up, even in delivery. I recommend a plastic slipcase to protect them. I wish more studios would include them, like Film Vault or Mondo does. Here are the details included. Pause if needed. Don't see the soundtrack, unfortunately. And I wish they could have included the music video. Yes, the Queen music video where Freddie Mercury sings Princes of the Universe and the Highlander walks on stage, out of the movie. The Digipack has a movie scene. One of the Kurgan, Clancy Brown, who brought such a character to the role. On the other side, Connor, with his sword and shield. The print looks sharp. Inside the slip, we have a few goodies, including this set of pin badges with quotes from the movie, who wants to live forever, and so on. Take a look. On the back, another quote from a memorable moment in the film. Next up, we get a poster of the film, based off the alternative one, highlighting some action shots and the three main characters. I like this version, although I prefer the original 1986 poster. Here we have poster art cards. This is a cool shot of McLeod in modern day. The cards have the artist's signature. Here is Ramirez in his full guard. Very cool. I'm an illustrator and I love to see these designs. And here is that original poster I mentioned earlier. Also the same artwork on the music album cover. Now here is something interesting. They included this prequel comic, 
With Connor McLeod's previous adventures through the centuries, it starts in 1804 on a ship, the HMS Victory, fighting against a Kurgan and almost killing him, but the ship sinks and he loses his sword. Then we arrive in 1966 where Connor meets up with an old friend who found his sword in the hands of an illegal antique dealer. He crosses paths with an immortal who challenges him and they meet to fight. But the comic leaves us with a cliffhanger. So I guess we're expected to buy the next issues? Finally, we get this nice 64 page booklet with new essays. and it's filled with interesting info, including photos, concept sketches, storyboard art, and location photos. Also the original press book in the back. This presentation gets some extra popcorn points and this film deserves it with much more. The digipack slip side has Ramirez in the 16th century. The back is a soft gloss matte look and over here Connor blocking with his sword. Inside is the prize, our 4K UHD, which can play in any 4K player. And it's suiting to have the modern day Connor on the disc art versus the 16th century Connor on the Blu-ray disc, which is zone two for those of you with a multi-regional player. Again, the iconic shot of Connor McLeod in the backdrop here, and the Kurgan in his barbarian armor. All three immortals showcased. I think it looks really nice. Let's flip it over and look at the front spread. My final thoughts. Is this the one? You will be happy with this edition of Highlander, and I hope the second film gets a good treatment as well. I feel that including the soundtrack and the music video would have made this gold. Studio Canal's edition of Flash Gordon included the soundtrack, also done by Queen. But it could be they couldn't get the distribution rights. Still, we get three featurettes, one looking back with Clancy Brown, three interviews, including one with Christopher Lambert and the director, four audio commentaries, the making of Highlander, deleted scenes, and an archival interview, along with the essay booklet and the rest of these goodies. Highlander is a classic and should stay that way. No remakes, please. There's enough turrets on TV today. I give this edition four and a half kernels and recommend you get a copy. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my review, please like, comment, subscribe, request a review. I have a thousand films and I will continue bringing you a quality review. Popcorn preachers.